Hello everyone and welcome back to Grey's Anatomy Post-Op. I'm Gordon Jane. Today I have a very special episode for you. That's right, I get to sit down with some of Grey's most memorable characters, starting with the lovely Miss Loretta Devine, whom you might remember as Adele Weber. Miss Devine, you're gonna have to forgive me if I geek out on you. I'm gonna try and keep it all inside. <laughs> what was your entry into meeting Shonda and ending up on Grey's? I auditioned for Grey's to play Jim Pickens' wife, and luckily I knew him from New York. <laughs> Jim, I had this saying all the time, this is butter, baby. They were doing quality TV. And it was always easy to work with him. That was the butter, that it was easy, and uh, it was a great experience. Of all the petty, ridiculous, infantile, are you running a hospital here or a playground? Adele, I will not be spoken to. Hospital or playground, Richard? Hospital. Then start acting like the chief of a hospital and apologize to that woman. Right now. Sorry. You call that an apology? Now, you better not leave this room until the two of you work this out. Because if I had to drag myself down here through rush hour traffic again to police this damn jungle gym. Adele, you've made your point. When we get introduced to Adele, she's visiting Chief Weber, who's just had brain surgery. It was very important to me to have her feel and act a little lifted, just a little stuck up, maybe you would say. Everything pulled together, the scarf, the earrings, everything had to look flawless. And she was always very well spoken and, and uh, uh, likable. Later you find out that <clears throat> during this entire relationship, he's also been having a relationship with Gray, and so there's been a lot of suffering in this marriage, and there were all these things that were going on that you would never imagine when she floats into the room and takes control of him and everything that's around him. Getting up. You're gonna have to body check me to do so. Adele, there is a bomb. I heard. And did you already know at that point that she was that there was going to be an Alzheimer's storyline, or did that come later? No, that came so much later. My mom was going through Alzheimer's at the time that we were doing this on the show. And so I, I did as much research as I could and I tried to look up some of the conditions of it and some of the, uh, the things that happen in the mind and uh, the whole thing of going back to your youth and your memories are of a much brighter, better, different time. Alice, you let him go. That's not Elsa, Del. I'm not leaving you. Tell her something that'll ground her, a happy memory. My funny Valentine. Richard, you need to come out of there. Sweet comic Valentine. You make me smile Richard. with my heart. Your looks are laughable. Photographable. Yes. You're my one. So I wanted all of those things to be there so that people that were going through this could say, yeah, that is true, or that is something that is really happening. All these type of things were always going on on Grey's Anatomy, where the most beautiful moments were also some of the most devastating moments. For me, the one that was so memorable was when you finally concede. You make the decision to go to the nursing home. Rose Richard. It seemed like a nice place. I think it's best if I would go live there. Your home is here with me. I'd rather be there. I feel like she was doing him a favor in letting him go to live his life. And that's what I think was so incredible about the two of them that they loved each other to the end, even though other things happened, you know? Yeah, Adele did get that little boyfriend at the end. <laughs> she did, she, I guess karma. Karma, <laughs> karma comes back to get you. Oh, that was the most awkward scene to the film. I wasn't Why? ready for Tell, uh, tell me well, about it. Well, because I had been on the show forever, and that was really, I don't think that ever been a, may, a bedroom scene, but to actually be there and somebody embracing you and touching you, I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any fan reactions that you get that you can share with us? I can remember when, during the episodes where I was supposed to be pregnant, I always kept saying, Adele, pregnant? She got to be 90. But <laughs> at the gas station, one lady came up to me and said, well, how are you? What trimester are you in? I go, excuse me? 
uh, are you doing okay? And I didn't know what she was talking about. And she was saying, with your pregnancy. I was like, oh my God, it's, it's so real to a lot of people. And so that's, that's butter, baby. That's quality TV. That's quality you know? TV yes. and quality acting. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Ms. Devine, thank you so much for being here with us today. I know your travel schedule is so busy. It was a pleasure meeting you. You have made my life today. <laughs> thank you so much. From infidelity to Alzheimer's, Grace has never shied away from tackling tough topics. Excuse me, could you tell me where to find the chief? Probably in his office. It's in the East Wing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have a nice day. Here's my discussion with former guest star Michael O'Neill on his unforgettable portrayal of Mr. Gary Clark. Michael, thanks for coming. Great to be with you, Gordon. How did it come about that you ended up on Grey's? Shonda uh, called me at home and she said, Michael, there's a storyline that I'm creating and um, I, I want you to consider it. She started um, explaining about the loss that this man went through. You can't unplug her. Legally, we don't have a choice, sir. But she's my wife. It's my choice. It's your wife's choice. And she made it three years ago. And he tries to come back and sue the hospital and gets no recourse. She went on to say that, that it was a workplace um, uh, uh, shooting. And I said, please understand, this, this, for a lot of reasons, this frightens me. And she says, it frightens me too. And that's the, the moment that I knew that we would collaborate, you know, and that I could trust her. She was dealing with, I think, a very, very broad tableau, the ease with which we get guns, the do not resuscitate orders, how hospitals look after people after they've lost a spouse when they have no one else, what's the follow-up? So it really was a 360-degree look at the event which led to what we now know was the hospital shooting. And a 360 degree look of the character. And that's a credit to her. I mean, it's a brilliant piece of writing. People ask me about the performance all the time. I said, take a look at the writing. She gave me anything and everything I needed to complete that journey uh, in a way that maintained a humanity that, that did not sensationalize. They shot me. Here are some bandages. Mommy. Take them and go. I want my mommy. Thank you. What was your process and journey to getting to that dark place? I had had someone in my family killed, so I knew what it did. And pe people don't recover from that, they, they adapt to it. They learn other ways um, to, to cope. And I, I thought, I wanted to find out what would break a person so badly um, that they would go to that as a resort. And how was the experience with the rest of the cast and crew at that time? It was clear that I was broken and in pain. There were moments when a grip would come by or some crew member would come by and they never said a word to me. They would just place their hand on my shoulder just to say, we're with you. And uh, talk about creating humanity for an actor. Look. In our lives, we get to do a handful, maybe, you know, that make a difference. Right. So I'm immensely grateful to have been part of this show and to have been part of this, uh, a, a particular aspect of this show that, that resonates. Well, I definitely want to thank you for your performance because it moved me. I'm sure it moved everyone that watched it. Um, and I thank you so much for taking time to be this vulnerable with us and to share your inner process to creating that character. I appreciate yes. you having me with you, Gordon. Thank you to the actors who shared their memories with me today. To see some more of your favorite guest stars, head over to the Love Grace Hub on ABC.com. And make sure to check back every Wednesday for brand new episodes of Grey's Anatomy post Up. Catch every season of Grey's Anatomy, currently available on iTunes.